And welcome everyone as we get ready for the final game of the Eastern Conference play-in tournament. One team will punch their ticket to the playoffs. The other will see their season come to an end. And tonight, we've got the Indiana Pacers playing against the Boston Celtics. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and coach Mike Fratello. On our sideline, David Aldridge. second and third options to get better shots. I love it. We'll be looking for that. And so it's the Celtics getting on the board first. Fades back. And it's good. Off the back of the rim. Showing us his skills as a shooter. Westfall is pretty Brown deciding where to go with it. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. And so here is Indiana. Here is Cook. Worthy the pass to Ruin. The shot's good. Yeah, boy, how about the confidence? I love watching him be that assertive down low. And pin the blame on the defense there. You can't just give him an open layup. Here's Drew. Pass to Brown. Shot from the wing. Rebounded by Ruin. That's a quality shot right there. It just didn't fall for him. Hey, they don't all end in scores. Great execution, and they're happy that they had that kind of a chance. Here is Cook. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Five to shoot. Up to the right wing. Here's Westfall. It's a big high pass and goes in. Drilling that jumper. He thought it was going in immediately. It's Brown on the wing. Coming off a solid outing against Fleet. Right on the bucket. Not exactly the most solid screen you'll see. Still works, though. Here is Cook. Pass to Worthy. Here's Westfall. Again, Indiana. No hesitation for Westfall. This is how lethal he is off the bat. Celtics have gone three or four from the field to start out the game. Here's Woodson. Pull from the top of the key. Where they close it in. Well, there wasn't much there in terms of defensive pressure. I'm sure he'd like another crack at that shot. Here's Johnson. Solid play in the low block, and that one's through. That's what speed and agility will do for you. Big time play there. Celtics trail by four. And now calls the Celtics.
in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Drew. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. You got to make sure that you're stationary and set when you're going to set a screen. Any kind of movement typically will draw the whistle. Yeah, he made things easy for the ref right there. Clear offensive foul on the pick. Mayers jumped in for the Celtics. Here is Cook. Johnson up top. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. The ball goes to Boston. Celtics trail by four. Brown outside. That first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Trills the baseline jumper. Brown's got his third basket of the night right there. Such an accomplished score. Brown is a master at taking what the defense gives up. Here's Westbrook. He's got six. At the top of the key, Cook on the wing, Johnson. Lock at six. Shoots from the elbow, and he drops that one in. Johnson's got his second bucket tonight. I like watching Johnson utilize this area of the floor because he's very effective for him. Here's Drew. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Pass to Westfall. Here's Ruin. It's rebounded by Nader. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. The game now all time. It's all about working the angles. He sees where the defense is weak and exploits it. Here is Cook after the basket by Boston. Pass to Johnson. Over Woodson. And there's Johnson. That's good. On the assist from Cook. Johnson's got six. Well, Johnson has his feet ready now. He shot prepared. All he needs is the ball. Now, here's Brown. He has six. And another basket for Boston. And so it's Indiana with it. Here is Cook. Pass to Worthy. Here's Ruland. Indiana moving it around. High post, Johnson. And a kind roll that time off the rim as it unfolds. That's eight points for Johnson. Expertly placed bounce pass, avoiding interference and getting it to the shooter. Here's Nader. Still yet to score. And that one's good. Woodson. Good team basketball. Nice find there. And it's Cook with the ball for Indiana. Over to the wing. Here's Westfall. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Smart pass that time by Cook. Setting up a ready shooter instead of trying to force something himself. Brown outside. Wide open look. And it's Boston with another. Neither of these teams can miss. At the same time, there's not a bunch of defense being played either. Here is Cook. Pass to Ruin. It's rebounded by Nader. After having trailed for a while, they could retake the lead. Really nice effort to battle back and put themselves in this position. They look to him offensively. A player who makes an impact on this end. And the Pacers with possession here. After the basket by Boston. Cook the pass to Johnson. For these heads, a screen for Johnson. Over Woodson. And the shot is good from Johnson. Johnson's got the game tied up here for the Pacers. And both of these teams right now, lights out shooting to start this one. The offense has been fun to watch, but I'm curious as to which team is going to step it up on defense first. Now, here's Brown. He's got 10, and he gets it to go. Brown's got 12 in the game. 
It's not surprising to see Brown fill it up. He's an explosive scorer who can hurt you on the drive, from distance, and everywhere in between. Here is Cook. Johnson outside. Fires from 18. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. I think Johnson is asserting himself nicely so far. And the stroke on his shot has looked really good. Here's Drew. Corner shot. And another basket for Boston. Here is Cook. It's worthy high post on the wing, Johnson. Over Woodson. And that one hits back iron. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Drew. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Point blank range, that's what you want. Now the Pacers with it. Wishwall passes to Cook. Outside worthy. Here's Westfall. Good, and it's worthy picking up the assist. He's got 10. This is why coaches preach ball movement. It keeps everyone engaged. Drew passes to Woodson. Here's Drew. Brown outside. Shot from 16. Buries the jump shot. Brown's got 14. Room to fire for mid-range, and he's more than capable of knocking that down. Timeout called the Pacers. Yes. Coach wants to discuss things here, a few things to address. And keeping everyone on the same page requires that communication. to shoot tries it from the top of the key and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in and it's the Celtics ball here's Nader here's Woodson this game is on score 32 
basis of our game is the pass. Share it. Being a great team. Outside Edwards. Shays the pass to Ruin. Fires from the line. He gets some room on the way in, and the bucket's good. This is why coaches preach ball movement. He keeps everyone engaged. Johnson, he's checked in for Indiana. And the Celtics making a change here. One forty-one left to play in the first. To the left side wing. Hubbard the pass to Woodson. Sinks the 15-footer. Woodson's got 12. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finally ways to stay hot. Here's Hubbard. He averages a bit over six points a game. the right wing. Here's Woodson and again it's Boston converting. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball movement. Again of the pass to White. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Basket good. What a move that time. Crossed up the whole building on that play. Here's Hubbard, scoreless thus far. Driving inside. A shot goes in, first shot, first basket. And you know, that's not a move we typically see from him. Wow. Pacers trail by four. Outside, Edwards. White setting the pick for Edwards. Here's McKenna. Hits the three-point bomb. He has seven. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. Celtics lead by one. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Welcome for the second quarter of this critical play-in game. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Great play down low. You expect the D to adjust. Collapse. That should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. You know, I love the fact, too, that they've been aggressive in penetrating the defense. Attacking that paint, getting the ball inside. So far, their aggressiveness has ruled the day. Here's Hubbard following the score by Indiana. Pass to Payne. Pacers foul, Kevin McKenna. First personal foul, first team foul. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Woodson. Goes up on the way, and the basket good. A bank shot that time. Woodson's got 16 points. When it comes to scoring the ball, he is prolific and proficient. Edwards passes to Watts. Johnson left side. Shot clock at five. And the layup falls. Johnson's got four points in the quarter. Great work inside from Johnson. Outstanding at keeping his composure under pressure. Here's Hubbard. Aston Ader. It's rebounded by Indiana. White dishes to Edwards. 
losing an out two minutes played here in the second quarter. Johnson outside. Sinks that one from the post. And now a three-point Indiana lead. This is how you finish inside. Johnson taking advantage of finding the angles. Over the pass to Payne. Here's Woodson. Right wing. Payne with it. Shoots over Johnson. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Johnson left side. Again, Indiana. Scoring the ball. He has been lethal and efficient. Wow. Celtics trail by three. Here's Hubbard. His last outing, he had eight points. Lots of room. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. For Indiana, they've gone a perfect 4 of 4 since the second quarter began. Perfect from the field. White finds Johnson. So active on offense because Johnson looks for his shot often. He puts defenders in compromising spots. James Worthy's checked in for Indiana. Good comes in for Edwards. Collins checked in for the Celtics. Celtics trail by three. Here's Hubbard. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Hubbard's got his third basket of the night. Good hoop there. Put it all together. Cook looking it over. Lost to Shades. Rebounded by the Celtics. Now Payne. And a lot of guys have done that one, so he'll shoot two hits. And that was a foul. No question about it. Second team deserved to go to the line after that hit. Is Cook. No scoring in this one. On the wing, Johnson. It's over Payne, and there's Johnson. That's good on the assist from James Worthy. And the Pacers lead by one. Mike, this has been a competitive matchup so far. These teams have swapped leads seven times, but we're not even in the second half. <laughs> now here's Payne. Six on the shot clock. Here he goes. That's it. He found his range with that one. Now one for two. With no one getting in his way, he goes for the easy money. Excellent play. Outside White. And it's blocked. Almost seven feet. Maybe is a force on the defensive end. You have to be aware of Smith. Oh, Celtics making a switch here. Instead. Here's Cook. Hands the shot from the wing. Cook's got his first bucket in this one. Excellent job from Cook. Seeing the chance to let it go from the mid range and not passing it up. Here's Hubbard. Six points for him. Pocket six. That's the lane beer. Here's Bernston. Covered by Worthy. And he makes that one. Well, one team gains momentum, then the other storms back. Back and forth we go, Kevin. If this is any indication of how the game is going to go, we got us a real treat on our hands. Here is Cook. Johnson down low, working on Payne. A shot by Johnson, no good. Celtics have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Here's Payne. Lambeer with a screen on Worthy. Here's Payne. Oh, Worthy with the block. Here is Cook. It's Worthy high 
post. Chops it up top. And he gets it to go. It's off the back of the rim. Johnson's got 28. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball move. Payne in the post. Covered by Johnson. Bernston the pass to Hunter. Here's O'Corn. Fires from 18. Payne's shot is good. Payne's got six here in this quarter. Hey, it's been punch, counter punch between these two today. I love it. And this game's been seesawing in the balance. Neither team giving up. Worthy finds Johnson. And stolen by Payne. Here's O'Corn. Light covering. Now here's Payne. He's got six. Here's Bernston. James Worthy comes up with a rebound. For Indiana, they've gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. The Celtics with the lead. Here's O'Corn. He has yet to score. Goes up the baseline. Green for two points. Good with the ball for the Pacers. So timeout time call here. The first for Indiana. Looks like to me the coach wants to talk things over and make some changes. Got to stay flexible with your lineup. And his guys know that. It's all about setting the team up for success out there. Here is Cook. Over through. That's in, and the Celtic lead is coming to just one in the basket from Cook. Cook's got four points this quarter. Hustle play from Cook inside, taking advantage and finding himself a close range look. Here's Drew. 17 points in his last outing. It's Brown on the win. And off the left side of the rim, and it goes in for him. Larry Drew. Brown's got 16 points. Seems like Brown is always ready to go. The second he has the ball, he's forming his shot. Here is Cook. Lays it up off the goal. Cook's got his third bucket of the night. Brown with it. the baseline. Again, the Celtics good for two. 
Pacers trail by three. Here is Cook. He's got six. Count the basket. Shays has got his first two points of the night. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Brown the pass to Woodson. Here's Drew. And it's Boston with another. Drew. And for the Pacers, they're shooting a mind-boggling 79% off the floor. Here is Cook. Pass to Worthy. Teardrop shot, and it goes down two points. Here's Drew. And here's Lambeer. Here's Woodson. Brown outside. Pocket four. And again, it's Boston converting. Pacers trail by three. Here is Cook. To the paint. Here's Ruin. No good that time. Ice D from Lambeer. Here's Brown. Got a piece of it. Pass to Drew. Celtics passing it around. Down low. Just fine on the clock. Bernston gets the bucket. The lead pass. Executing one takes a high basketball IQ. 125 left here in the second. And the shot goes down. Cook's got eight. You have to like any chance that close to the lead. Here's Drew. Eight points for him. Pass to Woodson. Here's Drew. And Brown now top the key. So the wing on the left. Let's run up from 19. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Freddy with great vision there. Easily found the open man. Cook the pass to Ruin. Crafty move. And he lays it up and in. Just too good a player to leave open. Celtics leading by three. 41 seconds left to play in the first half. Drew passes to Lambie. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Good activity there. Breaking things up. Loves the activity defensively. And he wanted to steal it, but still making an impact for his team. The Pacers making a switch here. White's checked in. Lambeer passes to Drew. Goes up on the high post, and he hits the jump shot. Brown's got the lead up to five now for the Celtics. Sensational a ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Here is Cook. He's got eight, and the Pacers tack on two more. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. you got to continue to fight through. And Coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort. Or lack of one, that is. Here's Drew. Hits it from three-point range. He's got 11. Just four seconds left in the first half. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot and get stops. And so it's the Boston Celtics with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Shoot the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back to the action in just a minute. Glad to have you back for third quarter action of the play-in game. Here is Cook. 
Cook. On the wing, Worthy. Hits the jumper in space. Worthy's got the first basket of the second half. That one for Indiana. Here's Drew. To the wing, right side. Pass to Brown. Five on the clock. The tray. Rebounded by Ruin. Pacers trail by four. Here's Johnson. And the layup's good off the glass. Johnson's got 30 points. Excellent dime from Cook. Loves getting his teammates involved. Here's Drew. Pass to Brown. And for those who are turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. That's normally one of his spots. It was a quality look. Shade to see a bit of waste. Here's Johnson. And he hits it to tie the game up. Johnson's got 32 points. Oh, I love watching him carve his way inside and capitalize. Pass to Brown. It's up a three. Buries it from three-point range. Brown. And you want Brown to take more of these. Because, man, he is effective from deep. Wishwall passes to Cook. Over Drew. And the Pacers tack on two more. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. Here's Drew. 11 points in the game. Top of the key. Rebounded by Ruin. Ruin's got four rebounds in this game. Cook dishes to Worthy. To the right side. Here's Johnson. Bucket is good. 34 points for Johnson. He's got it going on. And the defense can't do anything to stop him. Up top, Brown. 25 points in the game. He claims that one off the back iron, and down it falls. He's got 27. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you know, you wonder what it's going to take for somebody to pull away and take control of this thing. Now, here's Johnson. He's got 34. Great find from Westfall. The ball movement there, beautiful to see. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Here's Brown. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Brown's got seven points here in this quarter. And it's Crook with the ball for the Pacers. They trail by one. Here's Westfall. Six for six. He's left and missed from the field. Wherever Westfall gets the rock, he's more than capable of putting it in the basket. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Brown the pass to Drew. Here's Bernston. Worthy defending. Just three to shoot. Here's Drew. It's rebounded by Indiana. Ruling's got five rebounds tonight. To the inside. Here's Johnson. Rebounded by the Celtics. Now Brown. He's got 29 points. He's feeling it. And it's good for the back of the rim and in. Brown's got nine points here in the second half. Indiana trailing here. Here is Cook. 12 points for him. And the shot is good from Johnson. And this game has been a teeter-totter. Both teams trading the lead back and forth we go. It's been an evenly matched game so far. Might come down to a buzzer beater at this rate. Drew passes the run. Here's Woodson. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his third assist on the night. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. Here is Cook. Johnson outside. And the basket is good. Johnson's got 40 points. You know, neither side willing to back up at all. 
This game is going back and forth. Both teams trading shots and trading leads. It's been neck and neck. Here's Drew. He's got 11. And another basket for Boston. Here is Cook. It's a one-point game. Inside. Indiana moving it around. Johnson, the pass to Ruin. Not going to go that time. The Celtics have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Here's Drew. 13 points in the game. Crosses over. He takes it up and lays it in. And it's a three-point Celtic lead. And you can count that one as a screen assist. The pit allows him to get free and go right to the rim. On the wing, Johnson. Back to Cook. Pass to Westfall. Brown over to help. On the wing, Johnson. He has 40. Count it. Johnson's got 42 in the game. For Boston, they've gone 7 of 11. A lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Drew passes the ball. Here's Woodson. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Woodson's got 22 points. And you talk about a total 180-degree turn from the first half. It looked like a completely different team in the second. It's really up their energy. Doing a great job pushing the ball right now. Boston leading by three. And again, it's Boston converting. And that crossover worked to perfection. A thing of beauty. Created all the separation he needed. Cook dishes to Worthy. High post, Johnson fires top of the key. They get it again. Rulin. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Rulin's got six. Pure effort there. He just wanted it more. Boston's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Pass to Woodson. Here is screen. Here's Woodson. 24 points for him. And that one, good. Here is Cook. Over Drew. It'll go. The Boston Reds get down to three on the bucket from Cook. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first.
Celtics leading by three. Here's Drew. 15 points in the game. Driving to the basket. Gets it to go for bucket number eight. He's taken just 10 shots. Taking the hit, still getting the bucket. That is why you spend so much time in the weight room. Outside, Edwards. Shot clock at six. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Edwards got his first points of the night. Austin's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. He lobs it up and stolen by White. Cook the pass to Edwards, and the shot is good. And it's now only a one-point Celtic lead. That's an excellent move inside, keeping pace here. Here's Drew. He's got 17. And again, it's Boston converting. Here is Cook, and Mike is next assist will give him a double-double on the night. He's shown tremendous vision and tremendous heart out there. Again, Indiana. Cook on another level right now. Exactly why his team keeps getting him the ball. Here's Drew. He's got 19. Count that one. Larry Drew. Drew's got 21 in the game. Pacers trail by three. Here is Cook. Over Drew. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Cook's got 18 points in the game. One forty-one left to play here in the third. Baseline try. Drew gets the bucket. 133 left in the third quarter of the game. Here is Cook. 18 points for him. Pass to Shane. Out of bounds, Washington takes possession. He showed no commitment trying to grab that pass. That kind of lackluster effort is exactly why it results in a turnover. Austin leading by three. 114 left in the third quarter. Pacers foul. First personal foul. First the Celtics foul. shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. both from the strike. One ten left in the third. Aston McKenna. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. you got to make sure that you're stationary and set when you're going to set a screen. Any kind of movement typically will draw the whistle. Yeah, he made things easy for the ref right there. Clear offensive foul on the pick. Celtics leading by five. They're looking really strong offensively, Mike. Terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. That'll be the key. Here's Hubbard. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Hubbard's got eight points. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Edwards passes to Ruben. Indiana again, turning it over. Celtics ball. The Celtics making a switch here. Collins is checked in. Henry Collins. Oh. 
Austin with the ball. Seven point game, the biggest lead in the game. Here's Hubbard. Eight points for him. To the middle. Collins, good. And perhaps the coach lit a fire under them at halftime because they have owned this third quarter. And it's important for them to keep it going. Can't show any signs of slowing down. And here's Edwards. Pass to Ruin. And it's blocked. So it's Boston in control with the nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Edwards. Pass to McKenna. Back to Edwards. Indiana moving it around. Johnson a wide open look. The 18 footer is right on the mark. Johnson's got 44. Contributing heavily, doing his part on the offensive end. He's got a great basketball IQ. He knows we'll get his team back in it. Now oh, here's Payne. Out to the right wing. Here's Hubbard. Edwards defending. Hubbard the pass to Nader. Payne's shot is good. Payne's got the lead up to 11 now for the Celtics. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left them that much of a lane to work with. Edwards dishes to White. Shays the pass to Johnson. Here's McKenna. It's rebounded by Nader. Nader's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Hubbard. Over Johnson. And it's good off the back rim and in. And the Celtics lead by 13. And so Edwards will bring it up for Indiana. Johnson with it. Gets an open look and hits. Johnson's got four points this quarter. He's doing everything he can to carry this team. But even his impressive numbers can't do it alone. Others need to get involved. Now here's Payne. Shot from 16. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. For Indiana, they've gone two or three for the field to get the fourth quarter start. There's White. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Uses the glass to finish the lane. The coaches love seeing shots from there at the rim. Celtics leading by 11. Here's Hubbard. Pass to Payne. Here's Nader. Down to five on the shot clock. Pulls up on the wing. Payne's shot is good. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Edwards looking it over. A clear look for Johnson. And good. That thing was that time as it falls. Johnson's got 48. This is the radius you have to have in the league. You don't get to take your time. A bit under three and a half minutes of pass here in the fourth. And that one is good. Pacers trail by 13. It's White on the wing. Pass to Shane. Now here's Johnson. 
Got it again. Sensational. Slick move. Come off the pick and going straight to the hoop. Well, Celtics have gotten absolutely red hot shooting the ball here in the fourth. A perfect six for six. Payne gets a wide open look. Shays with the rebound. The Pacers have gone five of six in the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Edwards kicks to White. Shot from 16. And another one falls. Amazing. Boy, how much fun has this game been? Come on, man. Each side putting on an offensive plan. I have really enjoyed it. It's incredible that they're still playing at this level. Pass to Hubbard. And it falls over the rim and in. And the Celtics lead by 11. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. It's White on the wing. Here's McKenna. Now Johnson. And that one drops. Johnson's got 54 points. Austin leading by nine. Here's Hubbard. Here's O'Corn. After it with a jumper from the elbow. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter. Outside inwards. To the left wing. Here's Johnson. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. Celtics have gone on a tear here in the fourth. They're eight of them in on field goal attempts in the fourth. The Celtics call time. now from our sideline reporter David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Guys, during that last break, I listened to Casey Jones address his team. Now, he told his guys not to get comfortable. He said, so we've got a little breathing room. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. He wants them to keep the effort up. Guys? Thank you, David. Here's Drew. To Beer. Good. Nice job down low. Lambeer's got his first two points. Relentless in his approach. Lambeer comes at you every minute he's on the floor. Cook the pass to Johnson. Four on the clock. The kick out to work. Austin grabs the miss. Brown the pass to Drew. This is foul. Eddie Johnson. The Pacers making a search here. First team foul. Substitution for your Pacers. Number 44. Paul Westfall. Indiana on D. 11 point game. Wow. Good. As they keep expanding this lead, Bill keep feeding him the ball. He's having a great shooting night, so yeah, I'd say getting him the lock is a great game plan. Here is Cook. It's worthy high post. The 18-footer is right on the mark. And with how effective he's been offensively, you'd like to see him be more aggressive. He needs to keep shooting if they want to cut into this lead. Drew passes the ball. it off the glass. Brown. Brown's got the lead up to 13 now for Boston. Staring at a sizable deficit. The defense has got to tighten up. Cook dishes to Worthy. Indiana moving the ball around. High post Johnson over Woodson. And the Pacers check on two more. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. Celtics leading by 11. Here's Drew. Oh, 
over to the wing. Wide open. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Woodson's got 28. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Johnson left side. really a great move if you can pull it off, especially against tight defense. First Here's Drew. If the try. Here's Bernston. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. And the Celtics lead by 12. The Pacers call timeout. with the ball for Indiana. Down by 12. That's to Ruin. Johnson outside. And the shot goes in. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Celtics leading by 10. Here's Drew. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. Here is Cook. Out to the wing. Just five to shoot. Good work there as it goes. Post try and another basket for Boston. What confidence from the combo guard. Love seeing Brown rise up and fire away. Johnson outside. Drives to the hoop. Lays it up and banks it in. Here's Drew. Opportunity and it's good on the way. Drew's got 14 points now in the second half. You know, I think when you give up second chance points, a lot of it comes down to simply a lack of effort. Yeah, it's simple. A key part of playing good defense is limiting the offense to one shot. And that starts with boxing out. Now here's Johnson. Rebounded by Lambeer. Lambeer's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Drew. Pass to Woodson. To the left wing. From 18 feet away. Drew gets the bucket. Assisted. Drew's got the lead up to 14 now for the Celtics. We've got 128 left in the game. Here is Cook. Here's Westfall. He's covered by Brown. Here's Worthy. And that one good. Eight points for James Worthy. Great feed to the interior, resulting in a successful attack right at the hoop. Pass to Drew. 104 left in the fourth. Six to shoot. Here's Brown. And again, it's Boston converted. Little to no chance they're able to overcome this deficit. Going to be a good victory for the Celtics. 
Well, they definitely had the edge in the glass, Clark, pulling down those extra rebounds. You know, there is no way for us to predict that coming in. I mean, these teams are pretty evenly matched in that category rebound. And this type of win is why the play-in tournament exists. The 10th seed showing they are the ones who are playoff ready. So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. You know, I admit, there is a little bit of a gray area when it comes to setting screens, but that one was pretty clear cut to me. Yeah, got to have your feet set. He didn't. Easy call for the officials. I know, Mike, you love how guys are making plays for one another, and we've seen it all game long. Yeah, a real balanced attack. Total team effort. The shot is good by McCray. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Hubbard. 15 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. That one falls. And the Celtics lead by 11. Great balance to finish, even with the bump. and the rest of our 2K team. This is Kevin Harlan signing off. And we'll see you next time.